Hey guys, this is Vems's Photoshop Tutorials and this tutorial will be showing you how to get more brushes for Photoshop. Once you've opened Photoshop, get your web browser open. Um, you can use a variety of websites uh, that offer free and paid brushes. My favourite is BrushEasy.com purely because they have such high quality brushes and a great variety too. Now, once you get your browser open and your page that you want to use well obviously mine is brush easy so you can search for your brush um, either in the featured brushes or using the brushes tab or if you use a search engine you can search directly for the brush you want I'm going to look for brushes for bubbles once that's loaded there will be a variety of brushes with bubbles and patterns um, it's up to you to choose which ones you like the most I think I'm gonna choose this one so you click on your preferred brush uh, you can either read any kind of reviews it has or look at a preview of the brushes this one's just use this thumbnail as the preview. Um, there's also suggested brushes, and here's all the comments of previous users. This is kind of how you check if the brush is reliable or not. But gathering from its four out of five stars, it's gonna be a pretty decent brush. You can check how many brushes are in the set, how many people have downloaded it, and the ver the versions it's actually compatible with this will be fine for all Photoshop CS5 users so you just click download file and it should be downloading, here it is, download and download the bottom left corner and once that's finished downloading go to pretty much wherever it downloads to if that's either your desktop or downloads mine's completed downloading now so I'll open my downloaded file and you'll find the file here it's in a RAR form which is .rar or a zip file um, you then extract this file and once that's finished extracting you should have a normal folder like this when you open the folder you have to search for the .abr file which is this one here um, you can rename it or you can leave it as is, that's your preference I like to make sure mine has a specific name so I can find it when I'm looking for it later down the line uh, then you cut this file and if you haven't already got a, f a folder you make a folder for your brushes uh, where have I put mine I just need to locate it it's not in that one it's going to be somewhere else ah here it is, it's in my downloads funny enough so I open my photoshop brushes folder open my brushes folder as you can see I've got loads of previous brushes so I kind of just paste my brush in here so it's highlighted it for me it's in here so I know it's in here so I can close this return back to Photoshop and you click the brush tool once you've selected the brush tool you open the brush panel then select the uh, preset manager and once you've done this it loads all the uh, brushes you have now these are all the brushes I have have previously downloaded then you click load and then you find the folder where you've put your brush and here it is you locate it 
and press load. Once that's finished, you should be able to see your brushes in your preset manager. So once you're happy with that, you press done. And now, once you have your brush selected, you can choose from the brushes you have. And if you scroll down, your brushes will be at the bottom. So I want to select this brush. And once you've selected your brush, you can change the size of your brush. You can also change the color of your brush. So if I go for a, a bluey color, I should be able to do some blue bubbles. And then I can change to a more pinky kind of color. And that's an example of how to load the brush. Once you've done that, you can just play around with them and experiment and add new brushes to the brushes you have now. So, thanks for watching my tutorial on how to load brushes. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe.